Hi there, Sean Bodley here with Clear Technologies based out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to show a demonstration of how to create a cluster using the new PowerHA version 722 user interface. So it's called System Mirror User Interface. You may hear me call it SMUI for the uh, acronym. And what I'm going to show you real quick is my two nodes that I have. I have Jordan and Jessica again. I have HA722 installed on both systems. I don't have a repository disk. It's going to be this one. And I have no shared volume group, which is going to be this one. We're going to create both of those while creating the cluster. So I have a zone here called test. So I'm actually going to create the cluster, and it'll automatically add it into that zone for me. So I'm going to give it the host name of one of the systems. In this case, it is Jessica. Tell it the root and the password, and it saved my password because I've gone through this exercise before. Give it the cluster name, so we're going to make it uh, Smooey Test, and it's just a standard cluster. And because it's done a discovery, I can start typing in, and I can choose Jordan from the pick list. And then I can tell it, I can see which repository disk I want to use. Now in this case, um, maybe a bad design, <clears throat> but both of my free disks happen to be uh, 2 gig in size. But I know that I'm going to use 284 for my repository disk. So if you hover here over the disk, you can get the PVID. So I'm going to use 284. And it just says, what's the overview of my cluster? Just simple two node unicast in the repository and I will submit it. And as you can see, it says it created it successfully, but really this is just kind of a shell placeholder in the ODM. If we look on the system, if I Doing LSPV, I still don't have a repository disk yet. Well, that's because it hasn't been synced up. So there's not much that's actually been created yet. So now I'm going to come over to my new SMUI test cluster. And you can see that it tells me, well, everything's offline. Of course it's offline because I haven't done anything yet. So I'm going to create a resource group. And we're just going to name it Smooey RG. I choose my nodes. I'm going to make Jessica primary. I'll make Jordan secondary. And if I scroll down here, I can continue. What do I want the behavior to be? Online on home node, move it, and do not move it back. So synonymous with the never fallback option. And now I've created a resource group, but I need to actually add resources to it. So let's go ahead and add a service IP. I can choose an existing one from the pick list here. In this case, because it's already in my Etsy hosts, I can choose my service address, or you could enter one in manually. Select the network name. In my case, there is only one network name. Now, one small difference here in the GUI is that in this base level, it is requiring us to put in the subnet mask, and traditionally in SMIT, uh, that's not required. It'll grab that information from the interface already, but we need to enter it here. So we do. Now, when I create this service address, this automatically puts it into the resource group for me. I don't have to go and add it again. So let's go ahead and create an application controller script. I'm just going to create a, a dummy one for running the banner command. And then you can also set up application monitoring. In this case, I'm going to tell it I have a custom monitor happen to have it in temp called temp app on.
So I can tell it done or I can continue to add. Now I'll add the volume group and as you see here it actually took me back out. Um, that seems to happen the first time for some reason when trying to use the add a volume group. All these messages are just telling me that all my stuff has completed successfully. So I'm going to come back over here and if I expand my SMUI test I see my nodes and if I expand it further I'll actually see my resource group and I'll come back here and do the add resource again. So now if I add resource this seems to work. So I'll leave the default name, don't really care what the name is, I really don't even care what the partition size is but I usually uh, make it significantly larger, tell it to continue. Now one thing to note here is because the cluster hasn't been synced and the repository disk isn't active. It still shows me that my other disk is free, and technically it is. But we don't want to use that disk because we know it's going to be used for the repos. So in this case, I'm choosing my other disk for my shared data volume group. Okay. So now I'm done. And I need to synchronize my cluster because it's going to create the CAA cluster for me, it's going to push all my topology and resource group information over. So I will tell it to sync. And again, because this is the first time, it's going to run for a couple of minutes while it creates the uh, CAA repository. If I look on Jessica here, we'll see it pop up. There we go. Now if we look over on node Jordan. It's being activated here. Probably don't have all my resource group information yet. Nope, that hasn't synced over quite yet, but it should be coming. And it says sync has completed, and if I check now on Jordan I have my resource group information, there's my app server, there's my volume group, and there's my service IP. So now everything is in sync, I can actually go ahead and start the cluster. Typically I use the default, so I'll tell it to go ahead and start. Now this will start every node in the cluster. Now this Clinfo daemon, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. I rarely do. The second option is mainly for um, Enterprise Edition. Automatically correct, yes, we want to do. And then start AIX cluster services. That is CAA services. Uh, we really shouldn't have to be dealing with that. There is a command line option to do that. So be real careful with this option of AIX cluster services for now. Um, we're going to set that to no because it's already running. So while that is starting, I'll go ahead and close my other successful messages here. So now we can see that the GUI is starting to update with the status. I'll also pull up QHA. You can see that no Jessica has now come online and is assumed ownership of the resource group. Jordan is still coming up to join the cluster. And it's stable as well. So now I have a functioning bare cluster, which is actually what most environments are. So this initial release, it's not as granular as every option you can do in SMIT, but as you can see, we can create a a basic cluster with it and also note that on the volume group creation at this time you have to create the volume group it's not letting us choose an existing volume group that's already been created so if you have one that's already been created you could create everything else in the cluster and then go add that resource group in manually through SMIT so that pretty much does it for the demonstration of how to create a cluster using the new Power HA SMUI. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll be glad to help any way I can. And as always, thanks for watching.